Hello, everybody. Me and Judah are in the car waiting on Mommy and Jeremiah to come out of the store. I just wanted to take a minute to uh, thank everybody who's got on the Facebook page and the YouTube page. Wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be some more upcoming videos coming. And beginning Monday, we're going to start some discipleship and some teaching uh, on online. So everybody be prepared for that. We're just giving a few days for people to get online. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on today was the actual discipleship process in the home and how impactful that can be for your family. Uh, I remember as a child uh, growing up at Kistler, West Virginia, my mom and dad, uh, a coal miner and a cook in the school system, I remember every day hearing them pray over me. Uh, one of the things that, that I remember them praying over specifically was as a young child, I remember them praying over uh, me for a wife, a godly wife, a woman who respected the Lord, who would be my helpmate, who would uh, be there for me through thick and thin, and, uh, and indirectly, without me even knowing, they were discipling me for the future. They was preparing my heart for what God expected for a wife for me. And you know, I look back on that and, and I, never, I never thought of it until we, me and Shauna was discussing this the other day. But by them praying for me, not only that promises or whatever they had for me, they was discipling me through prayer. It's so important that your children hear you pray for them. Uh, they need to hear you call out what God has for them in the future. They need to hear the expectation of their, their future husband and wife through prayer. They need to hear their expectation of what God has for them. Uh, Jer Judah's getting a little restless back there. Look at him. He's watching TV, by the way. Is that good, Judah? But going forward, uh, prayer is so important. And it's not something that you have to be an expert in. It's not something that you have to be an eloquent speaker. It's basically you just talking to God. Uh, you letting God know what your heart is. Uh, you letting your uh, children know how important it is that you communicate with God on a daily basis. Uh, I can remember every evening uh, we would sit down in the living room of our home. And uh, we had the old wooden armed furniture with the cushions on it and the coffee table that way and, and we would sit down and mom and dad would read a chapter of the bible to us and then after they were finished we would all get on our knees all around the living room all four children and the mother and and father mom and dad and and they would pray simple you know a lot of times i would think man are they ever going to get done because the things i was talking about they would pray over all four of their children they just didn't give a generic prayer but they spoke each of our names and the things that they had that they felt god had for us in the future so let me encourage you as we go forward uh, in the discipleship process, take time to pray over your children, not just in your private time, but audibly over your children, that they hear the words that God has you speak over them. Uh, it, it's something that will last with them a lifetime. I'm, I'm a, a young adult now or mid, middle aged adult now, should I say, uh, I'll be 41 later this week. And you know, I remember those prayers. I can still fervently remember my mom and dad calling out my name before the Lord and, and, and me knowing that, that I had a, a purpose, that I had a plan, that I had a future and that God was a part of that and that God was going to direct that path and that, that decisions I made in the future were being prepared for me by my parents because of their faithful prayer life. Um, so just, just keep up with the, the ministry on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, we're excited about starting uh, some teaching next week. Uh, we're going to start in the book of First Thessalonians. Uh, some teaching on the Apostle Paul. So you guys stay tuned in for that and we love you and until next time.